Oh, what year is it? Hello YouTube, this is Ace Master, and we are back with another episode of, finally, of Fire Emblem. Shin Moncho no Nazo, Hikari Tokage no Eiyu, which is Fire Emblem New Mystery of the... Yeah. Fire Emblem New Mystery of the Emblem. And it is time for Chapter 1, finally. Once there was a war known as the War of Shadows. We already know most of this because we played Shadow Dragon. And we defeated Medius. And everyone went home. You know, you gotta rebuild. Among the nations that made up the Seven Kingdoms of Arcania, Gra and Grust were devastated. Altia, Aurelis, Macedon, and Talus were left deeply scarred even the mighty kingdom of Arcania was undergoing restoration. However, in the palace still shaken by war, one important event took place. Hardin, the younger brother of King Aurelis, was married to Princess Nina, becoming the 24th king of House Arcania. After ascending the throne, Hardin aggressively restored the country in the twinkling of an eye, formed a powerful army by gathering many soldiers. He then proclaimed the restoration of the Holy Arcanian Emperor Empire and himself Emperor. Well, that's that's not a good word. Everyone knows that Empire is a evil empire. One year has passed since the war with Dolor. The world seemed to be moving towards an era of peace. However, Unbeknownst to man, the cogs of destiny had started spiraling out of order. Chapter 1, Breston Expedition That's a long walk. It has been a war year since the War of Shadows ended. The war-ravaged kingdom of Altia was finally be starting to regain stability thanks to Prince Smart's efforts. Prince Smart's engagement to Princess Shida was announced, and the people of Altia rejoiced sharing their happiness. However, nearing the day of their wedding, an unexpected letter arrived from the Imperial Palace containing an Imperial Edict. D Prince Moth of Altair. In the Kingdom of Grust, now under Imperial rule, a large-scale rebellion has broken out. I request your kingdom's assistance in its subjugation. Your Highness is to lead the entire army of Altair and Sortie at once, suppressing the Grustian Rebellion. Signed, the Emperor of Arcania. Not even naming, not even Emperor Hardin. The Emperor of Arcania! I'm too important to even say my name, even though you died in the last game. And we're he's not, not actually that great either. The Kingdom of Arcania with Altia suzerains with orders were absolute. Forced to comply, Arth ordered the Knight Kane to protect his homeland, and together with Jagan, the Paladin Aran, and the young, newly appointed knights left Altia on the Grustian expedition. Chris will be arriving shortly. This is your first real battle, is it not? Battles will be different from here on out. Defeat on the battlefield means death. Any allies you lose will never return. This is the harsh rea reality of war. You must take the utmost care not to get yourself killed. Of course, sire. You and everyone else, it would be wonderful if we could end this battle without losing anyone. Sire, we've made arrangements for a transport convoy. We will also have merchants accompanying us who will sell us weapons and items. Uh, they will be inevitable, invaluable. So here's the prep window. Come to Crest in the previous one? Indeed! 
aggressive with our enemy. The general and the people were not to blame. There were many admirable people that I did not want to fight, like General Lorenz. I swear, if we fight General Lorenz in this chapter... Ooh. Fortunately, he fought as our ally. Did he? I think we killed him. In battle. For EXP. Uh, but if you talk to him with Martha Shida, he'll recruit. He, uh, he'll be recruited. Did I recruit him? I was going for low unit count, so I think I killed him. I probably did kill him. Uh, thanks to the war, Grass was devastated, and now it follows the King of Arcania's rule. But by Arcania's grace, General Lorenz was allowed to govern it. He's an excellent leader who thinks of his people. It's because of him that the people of Grass can leave in peace. But why didn't a rebellion occur? Well, I don't know. What's going on? Chris, how are the new knights? Sir, everyone is brimming with energy. Good to hear about our expeditionary forces. I'm already old and would be no, of no, no use in the front lines. Our main force will consist of you rookies, Gordon Drog, and the Paladin Aran. The strongest among us is Sir Aran. Let me introduce you. Royal Guard Chris, this is the first time we talk face to face. I am Aran. Chris, sir, it's an honor to fight along you, sir. Sir Aaron, as far as our ports go, our enemies are bandits. They are no match for a paladin like you. Of course. However, Sir Jacob, if it is possible, please give a chance to Chris and the other new knights. I can't become much stronger than I already am. However, they're young and have potential. As Chris and the others experience actual battles, they should eventually grow enough to surpass me. Chris gains gain strength in the battlefield and surpass me as soon as possible. The one who will support the future of Altia isn't me, it is you. Sir, I shall engrave the importance of being an Altia knight upon my soul. Alright. What do I get? Martha? Uh, Chris? So I can ch change inventory, I can reclass. And here's the armory. I have 10,000 gold because I went deathless in the prologue. Uh, let's skip this for now. We'll come back to it very soon. First is reclassing. Uh, we are... As per the particular units, Luke is going to become a Myrmidon. Except he can't. I'm the Myrmidon, and I have no other Myrmidons to, to go along with. We're going to try our best to only use uh, Marth, Chris, and Luke as usual. But if I have to, Aron is here, and Brody's, Brody is not here. Level 1. Yet, um, oh, of course, here's a cave for some reason. I don't know what that's about. It's probably gonna spawn reinforcements. It's been so long since I've played this game. Oh, yikes. I should um, just bench Brody and Steel. And Ryan, I guess. Gordon is just straight up better. So. Anyways, off to the forge. Uh, we're gonna forge the rapier. Like last time. That is pretty expensive. But... Uh... Oh, yeah, because this is a translation. 
translation, I also get to use Japanese characters. But no, it's still stabby. Glad you could make it here. Since you've come all this way, I suppose I'll let you have the glory of capturing the rebel leader, General Lorenz. What? General Le Le Lorenz leads the rebels? What could possess him to be to rebel of all things? Who knows? I haven't the foggiest idea, and frankly, I don't care. Prince, you are to kill General Lorenz and reclaim the children of the Grustian royal family that he's hiding. While you do that, you will slaughter the families of those who participate in this rebellion and raise their homes to the ground. Are you insane? That's innocent civilians! Young man, are you questioning my orders? Perhaps Altia too plans to rebel against Arcania. Of course not, that's not... Prince Marth, your tiny country means absolutely nothing to me. Your rude behavior is merely an irritation. Do not forget that I have the power of the Empire behind me. I can crush weak, pesky insects like you any time I wish. Ass. Tegan, what in the world is going on here? How could Harden have trusted this country to such a vile man? Sire, I know how you feel. However, Lorenz has begun a rebellion. That must seem to be true, so we ought to do something about that first. Sire, why don't you try speaking to General Lorenz personally? Allow me to stay by your side and serve as your tactician. Royal Guard Chris, when Prince Mars is in danger on the battlefield, protect him at all costs. That is an order. Acknowledged! Chris, I have no need to worry if you're here. Let us clean up the bandits and head to General Lorenz's position. Yes, sir! So begins the fight against the bandits. Oh, at least this will kill. Great start. Um, I really want to see that they don't have too many people to bring anyone like that. So, oh, I forgot to give you a lance. Do I have any more? Great! let this country keep its sovereignty under the rule of General Lorenz. However, as soon as Hardin became emperor, General Lorenz was banished and Lang's troops came crawling in. Lang stole everything from us. He stole our gold, of course, but he even stole our food and our loved ones. If only General Camus were here, then we wouldn't have to live in fear of people like Lang.
not a problem. That EXP. Pop. Got a vulnerary. Oh, that hit? Lame. Especially since I'm now in range of the archer. Iron sword. Is it? We're in luck, boys. Let's loot in villages before they realize what hit him. This is what he says, but he's basically walking walled off. Somewhere. Oh, that And I probably shouldn't have spent all my money. But what the heck? So six, so you attack first. And that should give you enough EXP to level up. And then we'll give the kill to Lou. Oh, that's a good level up. Or I'll give it to Chris. Aww, Chris doubled everything. The other guys who need to help me. Oh, not the lag. Javelins, of course. The most important thing. I'll sell some of my convoy stuff later. Wow, so close. There aren't any young girls left in this country. They were all taken away by the Imperial troops. They say General Lang keeps them really pretty to himself. What a dark, insane chapter in Gus's history. So 
here's the village. Oh! Please show mercy to just this child. She's only ten years old. Ma'am, call please calm yourself. I'm not here to take any children. We're not a poor soldier. No, we're not. We didn't come to fight. If there's anything you need, please ask. There's not much, but we can give you food. Wait! Please take me with you! Are you really tech? No, I'm a grown woman, but Granny lied so that I wouldn't be taken away by the soldiers. Lang soldiers are all monstrous, but you're different. You have very sweet eyes. Please take me with you. I want you to take me away from this country and take me to yours. It's not safe for her to stay here. Please take her with her. You protect her. You can marry her too if you like. Alicia is a beautiful, good-natured lady, just like me. I'm sure she'll fit me a fine wife. No, 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 Granny, it's far too early for that. Now you've made Alicia all flustered. I don't remember her actual love life. Whatever. I should see if there's an updated patch. When I heard General Renz lived in Talos when he was young. Talos wasn't unified at the time, so there was a number of noble houses contending for control. Lorenz lent his power to the young patriarch of one house, and together they unified Talos into one country. Lorenz and that patriarch, now the king of Talos, remain close friends to this day. That's nice. The late King Rust had two children, Princess Yumina and Prince Yubolo. They're still young, maybe 13 or 14, cute little twins, both of them. In the last war, Garner's Dark Pontifex kidnapped the twins to blackmail the king. They were taken to Caden, the city of magic, and locked away in a pitch dark room. At great personal risk, Pontifex Wendell saved them. He took them to a monastery to protect them. General Lorenz took the royal children from Lord Wendell and raised them in Grust. The Empire demanded their extradition, but Lorenz was afraid they would be killed and hid them. The Empire branded Lorenz a traitor and sent General Lang here. Lang did terrible things to find the Lord or royal children. That's why we rose up. But we lost, and now Lang is going to kill everyone in this entire country! I don't know, but let's heal up. Javelins in this game have three mites. So it's not that great. Do I, I don't remember when I recruit any of these guys. Do I need a hand axe now? Or I just get a javelin? Let's buy the hand axe. Only one javelin kind of sucks, but whatever. And let's start 
start with on oh, that fortress key is the highest defense. Alright, that will do for now. Sir Ogma, please forgive me for getting you involved in this mess. I am here on King Talus' orders. As such, I will do everything in my power to help. I see. And I have a favor to ask of you. I want you to escort these children to Macedon. These children, Prince Yuval of Macedon, Prince Yumina, are king for us as orphans. Please, take them safely to Lord Wendell of Macedon. Understood. I will guard these two with my life. Thank you, Sir Alma. Now, you below, you know, you will be leaving with Sir Alma. No, I'm not going. I won't leave you behind. Princess, I cannot go. This wound, I can barely even walk. It saddens me, but you two must go on without me. You took that grievous wound to protect us. How can you tell us to just leave you behind now? I will never leave. We will never leave your side, Lawrence. What shall I do, General? This is most troublesome. Princess Yumina is not one to change her mind easily. We will remain here. In that case, I will find some other way to help you. I will find Lang and bring him down. I will bury him with this sword. I swear on it. General Lorette, you must hold out until then. Nice. Huh, we... Nice doubles. Nice. Got a vulnerable. Zero damage, baby. Ah, uh, that's a good day. Now the question is, can I... I cannot kill. Most of these guys are out. I should be fine taking this archer out using Chris. I hope. If that archer screws me, then... Can I get a C support, uh, yet? Oh, please don't go ahead. Woo! Finally, strength love loves. Always welcome. All right. I uh, use the iron sword. Let's just give Aron some of the iron. Am I really going to use Aron? Just temporarily. Actually, then let's check the convoy anyway. And there are no iron swords left. Okay, whatever. Just Lawrence 
left. He hits like a truck, so we're gonna bypass that. I saw him briefly, but that night, Iron looked awfully pale. You know, he probably hit the wall, so to speak. I doubt he'll get any stronger no matter how much he likes. to fight with you. I heard everything from the villagers. I've heard of all of the atrocities Arcadia has committed. I promise I will inform Emperor Hardin of the truth and rescue Grust. So please, lower your weapons. Prince, I am grateful for the offer, but I am afraid I cannot comply. Prince, you know nothing. Do you think that a man of Emperor Hardin's caliber would make a general out of a man as worthless as land without good reason? He called for an invasion to cr crush the, the kingdom of Grask and make it a territory of the Empire. No, it can't be. Hodden would never do something like that. I know it's hard to believe, but I'm afraid that ever since he became Emperor, he has changed a great deal. He is no longer the hardened you once knew. Prince, I have one final request of you. In this stronghold, I am protecting the young prince and princess of Rust. Please, find a way to help them. If you can do just that, I will have no regrets. But, General Lorenz, what are you saying? Prince Moth, my life in exchange for by any means necessary, please help them. This is the last thing I will ask. No! General Lorenz! This can't be happening! Such a somber tune to right now. We've won the map, but at what cost? Onwards. Prince Moth, General Lorenz, trusted everything to you. You spared his life and even heard him out. We the people of Rust thank you. Please, let us offer you. Let me offer you a token for gratitude. Here, we are protecting Prince Yubelo and Princess Yumina in this stronghold. I beg of you, do what you must to protect our last fragments of hope. Obtained men! Your cure crusts for all theirs. You below you will. Lorenz, he's gone! How can we live on without him? You monsters! Stay away! You're going to murder us just like you murdered Lorenz! No, you have it all wrong. We just. Oh, Prince Moth, you finally caught these filthy traitors. General Lan. Wait, please, these children have done nothing wrong. Allow me to take custody of them. Don't make me laugh. These brats are coming with me to my castle. Besides, my dear friends, you have other more important priorities. I have received reports that there has been a military revolt in Mastodon, and Princess Minerva has been imprisoned. How could that happen to Mastodon? I understand my obligations, General Lang. Still, these children, let them stay with me, please. Prince, do not try my patience. Listen up, you two, you're coming with me. No, let me go! You below, help me! Yumina, Yumina! Wait, Lang, release them at once! 
Sire, give me the order, and I'll get them safely back at once. Sire, don't do it. You do, Chris. If we oppose life right here, right now, we run the risk of being branded traitors by Arcania. But Dagon, are you telling me to simply allow Lang to take them? I can't stand for that! I understand how you feel, Sire. But please remain patient for a little longer. If we head to Mastodon, then rescue Princess Minerva, Mastodon will surely lend us its strength. Whew, what a wild ride. Well, let's stop for now. Um, based on this pattern, I'll probably be back in a month or two. Huh! This is sad. Well, I'm going to be signing off for now. Leave them likes and comments and stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!